Hi, welcome to Pleasure Sports. Today we're going to take a look at the new Quicksilver Cypher wetsuit. This comes in a 4.3 millimeter and it also comes in a 3.2 millimeter. Um, the difference between the two is just the thickness. They're identical in construction. Um, let's take a look at the 3.2 and know that the 4.3 is identical except for uh, where the neoprene thickness is. So if you take a look here, on the front body of the Cypher, um, we have a very uh, seamless panel design. So if you take a look at the wetsuit coming down, there's no seams in the, in the front body. There's the knees, and then the front of the legs um, is one panel as well. So minimal seam design in a wetsuit means more stretch throughout the wetsuit. And also, what we have here, if you take a look at the back, is this is a chest entry wetsuit, so there's no zipper in the back. Um, and this actually allows you to have more natural stretch in the lumbar spine with no limitation of a zipper. And I'll show you how to get in this wetsuit in a second. Um, the 3-2 has 3 millimeter thick neoprene throughout the front and the back, and the 2 millimeter neoprene is in the arms and the shoulders. And those are the areas that um, we're most active in, and our body is actually creating natural heat in through the muscle. So usually the thinner neoprenes are in the upper body, in the arms. The chest and back are where we need to keep the core warmth, so this is where the thicker neoprenes are. If over here in the 4-3 millimeter, we have the 4 millimeter again in the front and the back, and the 3 millimeter in the arms and the shoulders. Um, let's take a look again at this, the seam construction on this particular suit. The Cypher is the top end of the Quicksilver line, so it's their um, top rated wetsuit. Um, you'll see here uh, no seams underneath the underarm panel here, none in the shoulder, and that's to allow you to get the maximum stretch out of this particular neoprene. Um, this suit is actually made of what's called FN light neoprene. Um, this neoprene is actually about 15 to 20 percent lighter than standard neoprenes. Um, it is quick drying and it's also a lot thinner. So even though it's rated to be a two millimeter neoprene in the arms, um, it's probably about one and a half thick uh, in the arms itself. And again, it's a matter of the technology of the neoprene how quickly it dries and actually the thermal protection that it gives you. Let's take a look at how you'd actually get into this wetsuit. So if you notice, you've got one open side here on the front of the cipher. You first unsnap this button and that helps keep this dry zipper um, in place. And you'll see a nice, great stainless steel uh, zipper here. And you'll zip it back. And what you do is first take it over the shoulder and take the hanger out. And what I like to do with top entry wetsuits is stick my hands down into the armpits of the suit like this and just pull the inside out. And what it does is it takes the shoulders completely out of the equation so that we can now enter the wetsuit like a pair of pants. So once you put this up in your waist area and get everything nice and snug in the waist area, slowly pull it over the chest and then you put one arm in at a time. Take your time. And then the last thing you do is pull the neck collar over the top of your head and you're in the wetsuit. Again, the advantage of having uh, a wetsuit with a front zip with only one side exposed to water is this side no water can flush into. And on this side, we actually have a cinch that you can actually cinch the wetsuit um, to make it tighter so that water doesn't come in and out of the shoulder side. So let's go ahead and uh, take this wetsuit off the hanger for a second. I'm going to flip it inside out so you can see what this wetsuit is made of. Um, what we have in this wetsuit, as far as seam construction along the, the seams of the suit, is what's called a hydrolock seam seal. And I'll show you a little bit more about what that means here in a second. But first, let's take a look at the inside. So when this suit was first manufactured, the first thing that they did was actually take the panels uh, of neoprene and glue them together. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So first thing in manufacturing is that the suit is glued together in the manufacturing process. Then a blind stitch, which is a stitch technique, was put on all the seams in this wetsuit. Um, and the blind stitch doesn't go through both pieces of neoprene. Uh, that way, it doesn't penetrate all the way through. That way, this is a watertight seal. So you've got a glued and blind stitch suit. And if you look at the exterior of this suit, again, you'll see a, uh, a seal along all the seams of the suit. And that's the hydrolock seam. 
So this is proprietary to Quicksilver, and you'll notice it on all the seams uh, around the entire suit. And there's a single weld on the outside, and the inside is where you get to see um, the actual blind stitching. On the inside of this suit, this bright green material is a synthetic fiber that's called biofleece thermal lining. This is a laminate on the neoprene. This wicks water away, uh, so when water enters the suit, this is quick to dry. And this also is heat retaining. So you'll see throughout the suit, in the core of the body, which is where the organs are, because our heart's um, pumping the blood out, that this area is where we have the heat retaining laminate. So again, we have it on the front and the back. And it's the most use of this um, laminate in any of the Quicksilver line. The Cypher, again, is the highest end wetsuit that they make. The other thing I want to draw your attention to is how the suit is sort of hanging here on the hanger. It looks like there's a body in it already, and that's an anatomically cut design. So you can see all the technology put into this wetsuit in the back, low back, legs, and shoulders, so that you naturally fit in the suit without extra material pooling around you. That way you stay nice and toasty. Another thing that I love is the spot taping in the critical seam areas. And I also love that when we look underneath the zipper here, I'm going to unsnap this, you can see that there's a little place that you can stash your key here um, underneath your chest zip. So there's a string here that you can take and lasso around your keyhole and then you can stuff your key in this, in this little pocket internally and um, take it with you into the water. The other thing I love about this suit is the uh, padded and sort of quilted abrasion resistant knee pads. And um, again, this particular neoprene I want to draw your attention to again is 100% super stretch neoprene throughout the, the suit. So it's the highest end neoprene on the market. Super stretchy, really gummy, minimal seam designs, and again, this incredible um, seam along the outside, which locks the water out of the suit. So you have a beautiful suit here, glide skin, um, touches around the neck to create a seal so that water doesn't flush in, as well as um, helping to prevent rashing. So it's a beautiful suit. If I missed any information on the cipher, you can learn more about the 4.3 and the 3.2 millimeter at our website at pleasuresports.com.